Any advice for Altarok Pass? It's my worst map. Yeah, you never want to be caught dead on that map without a hero that can take the Null camp very easily by himself. We're talking Hogger, Sonia Slam build, Junkrat post level, I would say, four or seven. Before that, he's a bit weak. So Junkrat can do it. Greymane can do it. You have to have one of those. What do you usually ban when you can't decide? Uh, usually heroes that aren't fun, like Zeratul Tracer. Five, four, three, you can always still ban John or Regard. Their win rate is still good. Zeratul Tracer are just... Uh, if you have the wrong draft, you can't beat them. Can you play Ragnaros without T? Huh? Peppered. They did get 40% from the tower, so who's the real winner, right? I'm playing AoE for tomorrow. To his solo lane antics. This guy was solo lane before too. And he just can't stay alive. I wish he could play a little bit more passively. And just expect the gank, because it's gonna come. I've missed your AoE so much. Yo, thanks Raw. Ace in the hole takes uh, camps really slowly, Dance. Nice trade. Danger is close. Yo, unsalted pirate. Right. Thanks for the two months. Thanks 
Got something special for you. On my way. You start. So last time I played Rainer, I did really good stacking, and I still saw that the amount of damage that I got from it was not close to being worth it, even dying once or twice. So what I decided is I'm going to play Veteran Marksman, but I'm going to play it very, very safely, without the greed and the need to constantly stack. And that's going to give me a better time than greeting and dying once or twice so i treat it as a front loaded 60 percent bonus damage on my trade without the need to stack i like it i must pull back Wow, how did we get vision from Junkrat that far? Oh, he was still killing the Sentinel. So we are level 10. Time to man up. Pretty much. We can go... Uh, A great victory, but we're not done yet. I am coming. Oh. Nice. If we get a whole fort out of this, we'll be great. Wow, turret on the gate. Wrong scene active. Oh, sorry. And I didn't look at chat because I was so focused. It was kind of cute, though. That's it. We got this.
A great victory, but we're not done yet. I could use your assistance. We have ults, so we should be fine. Are we gonna get a turret too? I kept walking. <laughs> I think I had more health than he expected because of Behemoth armor. 384. Uh, is Behemoth armor level 4 talent worth picking? What do you think about fight or flight? So I used to always take fight or flight, and actually when you do the maths on it, it's not as impressive as you may expect. Uh, I'll do the maths with you after the game. For now, if you could write down the following. Write down... 384 and then write down my my current max health and then we'll talk about it 2997 384 write those two numbers down and we'll talk about it after the game Too bad then. That's enough of that. And they have no keeps already. I will help you. Can we? Keep up the pressure. It's a pretty big wave, two catapults coming. I think maybe we can. Banshee's back. GG, nice. Good. Okay. Uh, 384, 2997. So how much percentage is that? 12%, yeah? 12% extra? Okay. So... When you are receiving regeneration globe or healing fountain, that is a percentage of your max health. And so you have 12% more health and everything that is a percentage based healing also is more. So more health from regen globes and fountains. So that's pretty solid. You get 200 health right away, which at this level would have been uh, about half, right? 6%. So I've earned the other 6%. You can get more, you can get less. I played it quite safe, so I didn't get that much. So sometimes it's going to be more, maybe 15%, and the worst case is going to be 10%. Fight or Flight gives you 25 armor. So if you go from the 2000 and 
600 that I that you would have been because I would have been 2600 without behemoth armor if you get full use and you go from 2600 health to zero with 25 armor the amount of damage that that would require is 3250 which is 650 uh, health so the fight or flight when you go from full to dead would have given you 650 but you have 384 from behemoth armor without the fight or flight period the qualifiers and conditions for rainer to get the 25 protection from the full to the dead uh, to, to zero are the following first of all you must take that full damage in order to get that 600 health extra secondly you'll be dead so you would have probably been dead to let uh to more damage as well and to less damage you're not using it unless you're dead um, and then uh if the damage is over a longer period than three seconds then you're not getting the armor for that component whereas behemoth armor is always active the real main unique selling point I isn't the armor the, the armor looks like it's going to give you burst protection and it does but you can misuse it you can be silenced therefore cannot click the damage could be spread out over a longer period and you could die regardless there's many qualifiers to it Uh, the the real main unique selling point is the cooldown reduction on E, and that would be one of the reasons to use it. Yeah, if you E when you're forty percent life, Balloon, right? Strength. The effective health increases ten percent or something. Armor does improve Every healer efficiency. Yeah, Honor. true. Redemption. But uh, but E also has heal, so did we add it to the main health pool? Well, I didn't factor in E during Behemoth Armor, but it's true that Rainer's E is a percentage of his health. And with Behemoth Armor, E also gives more health. Whereas the cooldown reduction is loaded on fight or flight, Behemoth Armor makes every E count for more. So the question is, are you really pressing E on a 35 second cooldown over and over and you need that kind of healing sustain every 35 seconds? Or can you wait 10 seconds and have your E matter more in terms of healing? Even if it doesn't matter more in terms of armor? Overall, when you look at all the edge case scenarios where one will be active, where one will fall without of its without, outside of its primary qualifiers and conditions and requirements, Behemoth armor should be a more consistent talent than fight or flight. It's easier. Uh, it has all these edge advantages. It doesn't depress your mana pool like spamming E. It cannot be misused. Behemoth is better. But if you use it on cooldown for sustain and you waste the EHP portion, yeah, then you waste the armor. If you use it on cooldown, you waste the armor component. And if you use it for armor, when you think you're going to take damage and then you don't take it, then you've wasted the healing component. <laughs> I bring the mega death. They have the VP. VP, Marsh, Mega Roots combo. For the Alliance of Bubble. Yeah, pleasure, Zinni. Now, having said all that, I'm curious which Rainer talent actually performs better in terms of win rate. But because I'm so confident about this talent pick, I would actually not be swayed by stats to the contrary. But surprisingly, the stats back it up as well. 
people believe this is good because armor reads very effective and this looks like uh, a pipeline dream and although the popularity is higher that's gonna drag it it's a fairly significant platinum to master four patch win rate difference that that backs up the consistency that i described and that's even despite it being a quest talent which makes people take stupid risks sometimes 